going to refit the bearing again, but this time we're going to use a different method, a method called axial displacement. So here what we're going to do is position the bearing onto the shaft. Then what we do is we take a measurement from the inner race, in this case to the fitting plate that we're using there, as you can see with the dividers. If we were doing it on a live piece of machinery, we would probably be taking the measurement from the inner race to a shoulder or something like that on the shaft. Once we've got the, the dimension, we write it down. Here we're going to use a hydraulic drive nut the internal section screws onto the, the shaft, up onto the bearing. reading with the calipers and then use the vernier caliper just to check accurately the measurement. Again take a note of it. In this case 28 millimeters. Once again, we'll just screw out the threaded section as far as we can. Make sure that the plunger or piston is right down at the bottom. Prime the tool up with oil. This time we're not screwing it into the end of the shaft, but into the hydraulic nut. Just take it into there and nip it up. Just lightly nip it up. Screw the T-handle in, that force the hydraulic nut to push the bearing up the shaft. Now we just take a reading of where the bearing is positioned now. Write down what the new reading is. Seven point five. So the bearing has moved along half a millimeter. Let's have a look at the specifications and see what is called for in the axial reduction or axial displacement. We just move across the line. You can see that it's from 0.45 to 0.6. So 0.5 of the millimeter would be right in the center of that. So our drive up of the bearing should be just about right. Once again, if we want to re remove the, the bearing, just use the hydraulic release tool.
just extend the screwed piston, the screwed uh, spindle. Make sure the plunger in the center is down to the bottom so it can be charged with oil. Put the lock nut on, just on to the end of the shaft so when the bearing releases and comes forward, it can't come flying off the end of the shaft. The bearing has just come forward. If the bearing has been put on very tightly, over tightened, the bearing can release with quite a bang when that hydraulic oil gets under it. So you wouldn't want to be in front of it. Just taking the nut off. releasing the bearing, and there's a bearing off.